This is a um, the last prototype of a Ferro map that I put together using uh, Silverlight and Bing map tools. Um, basically, it's using a Mercator projection of the Ferro map, and there's a scale and all that kind of stuff. I've added some interesting points here that are basically cities. So um, we'll grab a city like um, Neverwinter. It takes you to Neverwinter. That's really cool. Uh, we'll go over here to this uh, Port Castler, and I've actually added in some additional detail here um, from stuff I got from Forgotten Realms. And as you zoom in, you can see that I've actually kind of outlined the buildings. Um, I got this as an export from Forgotten Realms. That's actually a um, area that I kind of made square, and it's kind of interesting. I can just delete this. So you can s oops, delete the whole thing so you can see what's going on here. Um, but you can draw these buildings, and they're approximately the right scale. It can be cleaned up to make them a little square. Um, the drawing tools are kind of cool. Um, you grab in the middle. Um, have you ever seen ArcGIS? The it behaves very similar to that. You can delete them. It's kind of interesting. But the problem I have is I was going to um, draw a. I was trying to draw draw a grid of um, like five feet, five feet by five feet. Um, doesn't work, however, because um, the scale here of zero to four hundred eighty miles um, is distorted in the Mercator projection. You see here I've drawn a line which is about a hundred miles or so, which is about equal to the scale that I have on here. But at the equator, this same line is 182 miles. That's because of the projection we use. Being map tiles uses the Mercator projection, which makes sure that the latitude and longitude lines are, um, I guess, completely vertical and horizontal. Um, but as a result, it tends to stretch the map out, so any kind of scale that's shown is not accurate. What we need is an equal area projection. Um, and as you can see, uh, that's just is not going to work very well with the existing map control. So um, this particular project or prototype I have in mind to replace or use as a base engine for map tools is just not going to work. Um, I think a different core technology like Deep Zoom might be interesting to try, or I can make my own uh, control that is basically just a regular one-to-one uh, -one, uh, grid based upon the image I import that you can zoom in to uh, a five-foot by five-foot um, size all the way out to the world map. Um, my goal was to make a completely zoomable um, map and use uh, vector graphics to draw in the walls and the terrain and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I kind of have that here with the vector graphics because um, you can come back after the fact and change it and you can apply a texture instead of yellow to the back here. Um, so I like that concept. And in fact, the um, card campaign cartographer tool set um, allows you to basically build maps using vectors. And I think that's a very interesting technology to base map tools off of. Um, Map tools is largely based upon just um, a tile bitmap. That's not well. You can zoom in, but you don't get any extra definition. And when you zoom out, um, they just uh, make bit uh, copies of the image. Um, you don't really get any extra detail. And once you've drawn something in map tools, it's very difficult to adjust it. You pretty much got to delete it and redraw that whole section. So I just thought I'd show you what I learned, um, and I need to do some more work if I want to try to make uh, a prototype to base the new version of Map Tools off of. Um, I'll go check their website and see what their thoughts are. I know they're um, looking at using the multiple layers, um, which this does as well, um, but I think having an under under limit of graphics being vector instead of bitmap um, would be a big advantage.